Welcome back to IWWB, It's What We Believe. I am your host today, Pastor She, and I am bringing you a quick clip on what we believe about the fall of man. Now, most of this clip will be um, our young people who did a quick skit. This was an impromptu skit in the Fivefold Ministry, which is our teen church, our Zoom church, where we divided the group into people that would represent the prosecutors, that would represent the state in prosecuting Adam, Eve, and the serpent for the fall of man. Uh, we've got attorneys on here, our, our Zoomers. Uh, we have a group of, of young people that represented Adam. We have a group of young people that represented Eve. And then we've got uh, one individual. She did a really good job. She represented the serpent. She was the attorney for the serpent. And then we have um, two of our Zoomers that were the judges. And I asked them all this question. Bring me scriptural basis for either making Eve, Adam, and the serpent liable for the fall of man, or if, if they were innocent, tell me they're innocent. Now, the good thing about this skit is that they came from their hearts. It was impromptu. They came with the word of God, but they came with some pretty good arguments. And you'll see what happened in the end. Was it Adam's fault? Was it Eve's fault? Was it the serpent's fault? Stay tuned. Now, first, we're going to have the arguments for the prosecution, which are the people that are bringing the charge against Adam, Eve, and the serpent. They will have an opening argument. They will have a closing argument. Let's listen in. Here is Josh and Daniela representing the prosecution looking for a conviction for Adam, Eve, and the serpent. So let's start from the beginning. God made Adam. Are taking this from Ephesians 5 and 23. Okay. The husband is the head of the wife. Even as Christ is in the head of, of wait, 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 what did she say? <laughs> is, the it, head of is the head of the church. Wow. And he is the sa savior of the, of the body. Okay. Now, now, now. <laughs> so in this scripture it says that Adam is the head of the household but in the story Eve was the one that presented the fruit to Adam and mm. he just went with it which that's a sin so therefore Adam is in the wrong here because he's the head he should have made the decision for both of them not the fruit and this is what we have on Eve by doing this <laughs> alright Genesis 3 and 6. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Now, Eve. <laughs> Thereof, she took of the fruit, which was the law of the Lord. Not to take of it. So she was technically, well, not technically, but she took was one the of fruit. the first people to sin on earth. So you're charging Adam and Eve. And it was a law she broke from the Lord in the beginning when she was like, put on the earth. Not to that's eat. the most evil oh, rule, bro. No. <laughs> and yet she was tempted by the devil, which we yes. have a lot on the serpent. Uh -oh. so, <laughs> now we spoke from John 10 and 10. And it says, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And I am come that might have life and that might have it more abundantly. Okay. So the devil's only job, which is serpent, is to steal, kill, and destroy, right? And in the Bible, they also, in many other versions, they said he was a thief. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, pause, pause. She is not the devil. She represents the devil. I know, but you, you on the dark side. <laughs> she's, a, hey, hey, she's the attorney for the serpent. Okay, he's still on the dark side. <laughs> Everybody. everybody was everybody wrong. Everybody was in the wrong. And uh, 
what percentage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Hold on. You're going to understand. What percentage are they responsible out of 100? 50, 50, 100. No, 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 no. no. It, it has to total. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, wait, wait, okay, okay. You see the judge. The judge is already there. <laughs> Hold your ruling, judge. But that's good stuff. Good stuff. Hold your ruling. Write that down, circle. Next, we have. Well, let's listen in to Eve's counsel. Eve's attorneys are represented by Lincoln and Shekinah, and they believe Eve is innocent. listen in to the attorney for the serpent. The attorney for the serpent is being played by faith. Let's listen in. Is your plea guilty or not guilty? Is, is your client pleading guilty uh, or not? Uh, was it like a between? No, it's not. <laughs> Check with your client. Me? No, your client. Oh, okay. The serpent. He says he's not. Okay, the serpent <laughs> is not guilty. Guys, that's biblical. The devil will never blame himself. Okay? <laughs> that's biblical. All right. She, the, the charge, the uh, the serpent is pleading not guilty. Now, see, technically speaking, this isn't the serpent's fault. I mean, I need you to go louder so they can hear you. What do you mean? Okay. Or come closer. All right, technically, it's not the serpent's fault. I mean, sure, he did uh, lie to them and try and, try and succeed to pursue them, 
but it was not his fault that Adam E. took it like information and did it anyways. His job was to come, come cause chaos, but it was not up to him to decide who they to agree. He was only doing his part to, to tick off, to tick God off. To tick God off, but, okay. But I do say, God put an apple at the of the garden, and even if they hadn't eaten it earlier, later on they would have, they would have, and that is not any, his or anyone's fault. Hold on, okay. Hold on, hold on, stay right here, stay right here. Point to the camera. Okay, so she said technically, the fruit would have been in the middle of the garden anyway, and they would have eaten it anyway. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an argument. Keep going. Okay. So God, I, I, God was putting up a test and gave human freedom and gave both Adam and Eve free will to do whatever they, they please. Oh, so, God. So the she just, what, 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 what? She just gave a good point. Man can choose what they want to do. It's your decision to make a decision. It's not the serpents, it was your decision. Okay, keep going. Speak loud. Oh, okay, so, so the fact that they took a bite on the apple was not the serpent's fault, but Eve's, but Eve for believing and taking interest in what he says, which actually makes the serpent innocent. It's like the, it's like telling a child goes to a candy. It is a child's decision, either they should or shouldn't. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good argument. Oh, no, 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 keep going, keep going. I mean, these are good, good arguments. Both Adam and Eve both sinned before the Lord. They lied and took them as if they were a peaceful and grateful creator. They shouldn't have those spirit. And yes, it does. So who did have, did have, did, had, did, uh, uh, hold on, let me Oh, uh, serpent did, was involved in this, but it is not. Make it 100 his fault. Actually, everyone plays a role in this. God, the tree, and Adam, and even yes, the serpent. But uh, oh, was never. Wait, 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 wait. She said everybody's responsible. But even if the that serpent, would that would be something that the devil would say. Okay, but, oh. but even, even if the serpent was never there, out of starvation, they would have eaten. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, she got. Else's. Tell the judge, you judge, heard everybody. Judge, judge, you heard everything. Mm. But what Satan has said was a lie. <laughs> as you, as we all know, God gave us free will. But it was a law, a law that he gave and everything like that. If that temptation of that temptation towards Eve and everything like that transferred to Adam. Adam should have known he was the first person that that God made. And God told him not to eat of the fruit of good and evil. Adam told 15 seconds. Adam told Eve not to eat, not to eat the, you know, the fruit of good and evil. So therefore, 10 seconds. There's wrong. There's wrong and a wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right. Let's be honest, Judge. And you're done. Time's up. All right. Counsel for the E. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get you my, my time because. All right. Go. Okay, your honors. So. Seconds Shut up. <laughs> the reason why our boy Adam isn't guilty is because, yes, he is a man, he's the head of the household. But Eve, I Eve gave the fruit to Adam. There's the 30 seconds. There is Adam. <laughs> Even though that he was the head of the household. 
it was not 100 percent his fault because Eve was told <laughs> Eve was dumb enough to actually listen oh. to the serpent. Ooh. Adam was listening to his wife, who oh. was his wife, was <laughs> and he was betrayed by his own wife. But Eve was betrayed by the serpent himself. Mm. That was mm. worse to be betrayed by your wife than an enemy. Mm. <laughs> temptation and felt the need to fight it but if i'm honest really it's adam's fault it's it's a uh, it's a repeating loop really the serpent to eve and eve to adam but still the fact that they ate it and took took and bit the apple wasn't the serpent's decision all right judges you may now give us your word okay You've heard the prosecution bring their case. You've heard Adam's lawyers. You've heard Eve's lawyers. You even heard a young lawyer that represented the serpent. Now let's listen in to the verdict. What do the judges say? Whose fault was it? Let's listen in. Okay, so for the case of Adam, we find Adam... 20% guilty. Whoa! Yeah! Okay, okay. Tell us why. We say this why because in Genesis 3 and 12, he says, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree. He did not say from a tree. Therefore, he knew that it was from the tree, making him partially responsible. However... He is not as responsible as Eve because he did not deliberately disobey God and go and take from the serpent. He only brought what was from Eve, and he was like, well, I might as well take it. It's here now. So that's our final judgment. Eve is not much responsible? And for Eve, we find oh, okay. 40% responsible. <laughs> Tell us why. We say this because in Genesis 3 and 2, the woman said, we may eat from the fruit in the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. Therefore, he knew what she knew that the temptation was wrong. He, even though she may not have been there as long as Adam, she still knew the rules of the place and decided to disobey, making her 40% guilty. But there's also the part that the serpent plays. Like, oh! The serpent, also 40% guilty. 40% because while it is the devil's job in a way to kind of tempt people and that kind of stuff, obviously... God did not want him to do that or else he would not have punished him later on in the scripture and turned him into a serpent. So technically speaking, the serpent knew what he was doing was wrong because he would be punished 
in the end and he was tempting Eve with saying that the tree would give you knowledge of good and evil. And our evidence is in um, Genesis 3 and 4, the serpent said, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the wolf. So that's why the serpent is 40% guilty. Ooh, that's the serpent. Okay, judges. Now, what's funny here is today, 1% sin means you're all guilty. So unfortunately, because they have found you 20, 40, and 40, all of them broke the law. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you've heard the verdict and I asked them to pretty much give us scriptural references and a scriptural basis for each one of their arguments. And I think the young lawyers all did a good job, but let me just bring it on home. The fall was because mankind did not believe the word of the Lord. The serpent told Eve, you're not going to surely die. When in fact, God said it. He said, if you eat of this fruit, you will surely die. So many times we fall short because we don't take the word of the Lord serious. And I'm telling you here that what we believe is what God said. If God said it, that's what we need you to bank on. Particularly when Adam fell, it took, the Bible tells us about the second Adam being Jesus Christ. It took Jesus Christ to come and redeem us for what we lost in the fall of Adam. So I want you to, as you, as you study the word of God, as you listen to the word of God, I want you to be more uh, attentive to the word. Be attentive to what God is saying. What are we saying here? What is our IWWB today? Believe what God said. That's what we believe. We don't believe what the media says. We don't believe what the uh, government necessarily is saying to us. We don't believe what the statistics are saying. Many times we don't believe the medical reports and the doctor's reports because the Bible says, whose report will you believe? And so today, as you go in re and remind yourself about the promises of God, I want to encourage you to believe what God said. Believe his promises. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you're established. Believe his prophets and you will prosper. Why? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. And the more that you hear of God's word, the more you believe, the more your faith increases and the more God will begin to manifest for you. Believe in the Lord your God and you will be established. Believe his prophets and you will prosper.